Hello. Hello. <laughs> we just finished our uh, online retreat here in Chemist, Utah at the Metaphysical Center and Jason and I were just really feeling inspired to just share a little bit about it and, and what's coming up and uh, just wait for a few minutes for people to come online here but we just had such a great time at this online retreat and we're so used to doing physical residential retreats because we have these centers but wow we had over a hundred people and it was a weekend retreat it was so simple and beautiful and touching and everybody felt this intimacy and this really this joy and just joining together heart to heart to talk about this deep journey that we're all on together it's just uh, it's like spirit given because people don't have to travel people don't have to spend a ton of money to get to to us or for us to be able to connect with others who share a passion for awakening and so we just yeah we just had such a a heartfelt time even putting it together like we've been here for a few weeks together just joining and getting the word out about the English retreat mainly and now next weekend we have a Spanish well, translation we were kind of blown away by this everyone was blown away on this one on how much they they didn't we only had 40 people I think till a week ago and then in the last week yeah. 60 people signed up and they said they they weren't even sure if they were going to do it because it's an online retreat, right, you know. Right. And they said they were blown away about how much, because normally you think of online as, you know, capture Eckhart Tolle or somebody, and they're with an audience, and you're kind of in the distance. But no, this was here. I can't even show you. This was like that's what the screen we were looking at, and there's the camera. So it was just an amazing connection with everybody. We were all crying. I think. Yeah. At some point. Oh my so. God! The for opening night, it was like such a whoosh of heartfelt connection because there are people from all over the world I mean there were people that were in the middle of the night early morning uh, it was just amazing from New Zealand Europe uh, uh, Thailand Germany Germany and lots of Americans of course and, and Canadians but it was just I don't know there was just such a synergy with it and such a feeling of like I I was even very surprised about the depth of the connection that we felt with everybody that was there and um, and then and we're going to be making some little videos this week and putting them out of uh, people sharing about their experience with us. So yeah, just I think we all are just amazed. Like perhaps it's the wave of the future for being able to connect deeply, and no matter where you are in the world or even what language you're speaking, mm -hmm. because obviously all of these retreats are done in English, and then <laughs> and because we speak English. And then they're translated, and next weekend it will be Spanish, and the weekend after that is Portuguese. But we really want to open it up to English speakers, because just because we have Spanish translations. Yeah. Yeah. So. And we don't have that many Spanish people signed up, or Portuguese, and, and it was so amazing for these English. We invited all 100 people mm -hmm. to come back, and we were like, whoa, maybe this is the plan. It's just yeah, really focused. Really on, to open it up. Yeah. And, uh, and to go into the depths of the teachings. And I think we have four sessions planned for next weekend. So it's Friday night and then two sessions on Saturday and one on Sunday. And you can just do it from the comfort of your own home. But if you feel a tickle, if you feel any kind of inspiration, perhaps you've wanted to come to one of the retreats that we have, but you just couldn't manage all of the steps that it takes to do, um, really consider this, like really prayerfully consider joining us next weekend. Well, you were saying a few things about how this affected you. The this weekend? weekend yeah. Oh. What did it do for you? Um, I think for me, I there was such deep sessions and it felt like to me like a, a deeper commitment to being a miracle worker. That's what it felt to me like. It was just framed in a way that I don't know, something that just it lit up my mind and my heart, like that that is our function here. And that there's a clarity of mind now for the years of my training, but it's like this recommitment to being used fully. <laughs> because I've kind of always had this draw to the cave and to, uh, to being alone on the path, which hasn't been the case for nine years. But 
So I feel like a recommitment to, not even a recommitment, an expansion into a deeper level of being used by the Spirit and to extend and to really connect with my brothers and sisters. So that's... You're ready to use whatever it is, retreats. Whatever, yeah. What's that? Vipassana kind of things at the monastery. Well, we're going to be coding. Doing, Some people might come and do coding. We're going to do silent, uh, scheduled silent retreats at the monastery. But right now we're talking about <laughs> our online retreats. It's so funny because we can't talk about anything else except for what's happening right now. And what's happening right now is we just finished this amazing retreat, online retreat. It blew us all away. We were all so touched by it. And... Um, and it was a surprise. It was a surprise that everybody felt this synergy with being online retreat. So we're just opening it up and sharing our hearts with you about how it felt to be in this retreat for ourselves. And then we're going to share some videos later of people's expressions after. Yeah, me listening to Michael and Suzanne was just as great as mm -hmm. doing a session with David in the room. It was fun for me because I don't think I've done that in a while. Just yeah. have him walk in and... <laughs> Stay with the right. strength, and then have him join in so fully it was just amazing, really. To what did you What did you get out of this whole weekend? Well, was there one anything in particular? Well, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is at the very end there was a parable that I wanted to tell, but it wasn't coming in, and, and I just surrendered into this deeper state. And my heart, something in my heart, just went boom. And then right at that moment, David started talking about you got to make the quantum shift in your heart and it's shift. like a little shift and in that moment it was just like oh so deep it was like mm -hmm. way beyond the retreat or people mm -hmm. talking and i mean which is the whole point of all of it stop searching for it and mm -hmm. and be in it get off the noodle he would say and i don't know if i forget on to this the point you know mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that was a miracle for me and also just again always deepening into that the experiences beyond what's really happening, you know, no control of, which we couldn't, you know, cats are walking in and out and people are doing cameras on top of cameras and yeah, walking around with cameras and we just, but for some reason it just kind of all worked. And here we are in our living room, right? It's like, it's so simple and everybody else was in their living room or their bedroom or their bathroom even, you know, this is the setup. You can So, yeah. thanks for joining us in this sharing. Yeah. There's Michael over there. Yeah. We're yeah. going to do a little test today because we've had this two cats here and they haven't been getting along. Oh, no, no, don't say because Kelly might be home. We need to talk to her first. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to expand some consciousness. We're going to open up the doors so that maybe they can, they can start to, start to meet each other and... Oh boy, Jason, he always lets the cat out of the bag. <laughs> anyway, just heartfelt invitation. And we'll put some links in the bottom so you can go online and see what we're talking about. But love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you. I don't know how to stop it. Okay.